What's up guys, doing a video on my Resident Evil book and comic collection. Um, I'm going to start off by showing you all my books. Um, I'm going to be doing them in stacks, because I've got three stacks of books on my shelf. And then afterwards I will do my comics. So um, let's get started. So I'm going to start with uh, stack one. Uh, these are the Resident Evil first printed edition. Um, Resident Evil issue zero, zero hour. See, I never knew with this to put it at the beginning or the end because it was released like after all the first six were released. But I decided to put it in zero just because of the game's like chronological order and the fact it's issue zero. That goes before one. Uh, issue one, the Umbrella Conspiracy. Really cool books. Uh, to be honest, I love these, these books the most uh, as opposed to the re released editions just because the artwork is so cool. And also because I actually read all these, like I bought them in the stores when they first came out. And um, yeah, I absolutely love these books. Um, issue two, Caliban Cove. Really cool one it is. Really cool one. Um, my favourite book, without a doubt, of them all is um, issue issue three. So that um, City of the Dead, based on Resident Evil Two game. Absolutely love it. The, the artwork is. Just absolutely awesome on this. Absolutely awesome on this one. Um, I've actually got two copies of it. Um, the only reason being is that one, I don't, well, the only difference is that I can really tell is on the spine, is if you can see it, it's like slightly different, like the badge is different and it has the little black bit on it. And apart from that, that's the only difference is. Uh, this one was actually a used copy, as you can probably maybe tell by the fact that it's really browned off. And this one isn't because this is one I bought brand new and read. Um, issue four, Underworld. See, these actually really didn't actually release in the UK, but weren't meant to be released in the UK because on the back, like all the um, price is are like in euros and dollars, and there's no English English um, price. That's why like they had these stickers on them because when they did release in the UK, they just stuck these stickers on them. Um, I remember actually got every single one of these from the bookstore Waterstones and I remember like I got the first couple ones when on the day they came out and then the other ones I pre-ordered them all and yeah I was, I was I so loved getting these books. Uh, issue 5 Nemesis, another one with a really cool artwork, super loved that one. It's my second favourite game of all time Resident Evil 3 so obviously of course I love that book. Uh, issue 6 Code Veronica. And this one is a, actually a German one. Um, it's issue eight, Rose Blank. Um, I was actually really, really lucky to have got this book because um, when I was like in secondary school, I used to go always go to the library. And I remember I was um, actually like checking out a book like to take home, and I saw this just sitting on the on the on the desk. And uh, I asked, "What book? Or why was it there?" And basically they said to me that I we ordered it thinking that it was an English version and they kind of just, uh, when they got it in, they were just going to uh, throw it away. So I said to them, oh, could I have it? And they just said, yeah, go take it for free because we're not going to use it. So that's kind of why it's got like this, like this library barcode on it. And it's, it's like covered in like, like a see-through plate. It's like laminated. So, but yeah, super cool book. Uh, obviously, I've never read it because of the fact it's in German, but it's like got really awesome artwork in this. Um, I haven't yet got any of these, like this original first print in the German version yet. I will be like, keeping an eye out for it. So, that's, let's see if I can hold them up for you. That's like the first print of all the English ones plus the one extra German one. And um, now I'm going to move on to stack two. Now I'm moving on to stack two out of the three. Uh, this one has uh, two sets in it. It has the re-released set of them books and the French version of those books. Um, so I'm just gonna start off in, in order, as always. Um, volume one, The Umbrella Conspiracy. Um, like I said with the other collection, um, I didn't know why uh, Zero Hour wasn't issue 7 when it was released afterwards because in this set it's actually volume 7 for some reason so that's why I didn't start with that book it's like it's put in order so it's at the back this time as opposed to in front of Umbrella Conspiracy uh, number 2 Caliban Cove um, as you can maybe notice like, I've got these all in like protective like book sleeves 
Um, I haven't yet done the others yet because they're like different size books like to these ones so I have to order a different size like protector cases but these ones are just I've got them in protector cases at the moment because of the sizes. Uh, volume 3, The City of the Dead, again my absolute favourite. These ones obviously I didn't uh, read because of the fact that I had already read the previous ones like the first editions and they are basically exactly the same. The only difference being is that they're just they're just re-released with a different case, different cover. I don't know why they need, felt the need to re-release them because like them original ones have like absolutely gorgeous artwork on them so I don't understand why they needed to re-release them. I kind of do like these ones because obviously they're all matching and stuff like that but I still prefer the other ones because they're just the, the artwork is super better, super better. Underworld. Nemesis. Codefronica. And yeah, like this is this is funny. I don't understand why it's volume issue zero on the old one and it's issue seven on this one. But I, st I have to keep it in, in number order, even though it's like obviously it goes in terms of the timeline, it goes before the um, Umbrella Conspiracy, which is basically uh, a book version of Resident Evil 1. But I still have to keep it in order. So yeah, issue seven this time as opposed to zero, zero hour. Um, that's all of them. That's like the whole re release collection. Whole entire lot. These are all like immaculate condition because I told you I bought them brand spanking new as soon as they came out and I didn't even read these ones. I just basically put them straight into the, the like the protector cases and they've just been um, on my shelf so they are like they are basically brand new. There's no I don't think I could find a better condition of them. Um, moving on now to uh, the uh, French. I believe these are French. I'm pretty sure they're French. Um, but yeah. Um, I, maybe not 100% but I'm pretty sure they're French collection. Um, obviously I don't know what the titles are, I'm only guessing from the thing. Uh, issue volume 2, obviously I'm, I'm saying, like, I imagine they probably take the same names as the English ones but Caliban Cove. See these artworks I don't really like because they're all the same just different colours. So I kind of find these a bit boring. Um, I am missing, missing issue 1, so that's, that's the only issue that I'm missing out of all these. Like, once I get that, then I'll have the whole complete French collection. Uh, issue 3, City of the Dead. Issue 4, um, I don't know, I think that might be Underworld. Uh, <laughs> Underworld. Issue 5, Nemesis. That one's pretty easy to read because it's the same in French as it is in English. <laughs> issue 6, Code Veronica. And issue seven, zero hour. But yeah, like with these ones, they're just. I don't really like the the, the art on these because they're just. If I can see them properly, they're just all the same design, just different colours and like the texture of the background of it. But they're all the same. They're pretty boring. But they are all all brand brand, uh, brand spanking new. So I'm getting my tongue really tired here. Sorry guys. Uh, all brand spanking new, like. Even the sides are all white still, we haven't yet stained or nothing, or colour faded, which is awesome. Hope I do want to obviously get these in like protector cases. As with all the books I do, I want to do that, but just they're all different sizes, so I've kind of got to keep measuring up by a different size. It's just, yes, I will get around to doing it eventually, but I haven't yet done it. But yeah, so I'm only miss missing issue one. Now, like once I get that, it's complete. Um, that's like all the versions I have of these Resident Evil books. Uh, there are a lot more. I think there's like um, Italian and obviously the German ones and stuff like that. But I haven't got around to getting those because in the UK they are super expensive to get. So I will hopefully get them in time, but they will probably be harder to find for me, like harder for me to get. So um, yeah, that's that's stack two. I'm <laughs> going to go on to the last and final stack of the Resident Evil books, and then afterwards we'll move on to the comics. So uh, moving on to the final stack of my book collection that's on my shelf. Um, these are kind of like a bit of a mixed collection because they're like different series and stuff. But yeah, uh, moving on to this. I don't know how to say it properly, so excuse me if I do say it wrong. Uh, Mahawa Desire. Resident Evil Mahawa Desire. I'm only going to say it that once because I don't know if I'm saying it right and I don't want to make a fool of myself. Um, <laughs> but yeah, these are the French collection. Um, as far as I know, there's only uh, issues one to five of these. Um, like I've seen on the internet like a complete. Japanese version, like a little box set of one, two, five. So I presume there's only one to five. If there is more, then let me know. 
Uh, with these book collections, I don't really tend to know that much about them because mate, I don't really collect them that much. I kind of like just pick them up if I see them here and there as opposed to actually searching for them like I do in my games or Resident Evil figures and stuff. But yeah, that's issue one. These actually come with like, a really cool slip case, which is super awesome. I do love them. Uh, issue two. Again, with a nice slip case. There's like the, the image is like basically just the design on the front and back just got like, color washed. Issue three. And like the color they're washed with is like depending on the color of the actual sleeve, which is super, super cool. Uh, issue four. And issue five. So I do have like the complete French collection. Um, I know with this this series is like a lot, lot more, like loads of Japanese versions, and like I said, the box set, which is what I'd love to get. And yeah, there's a lot more that I have to get with these, but I'm not really um, too concerned with it because at least I've got one series of it. Because um, as far as I know, there's no English version. I mean, if any of you guys watching know of uh, if there is an English book or if there's like a website to do it in English. Uh, please drop a comment below so I know because I really, really would love to watch the uh, watch them. Sorry, read these books because uh, like the artwork is super cool. So I really would love to read them because obviously I've got pictures of the characters from the main games. So I really would love to read those books. Uh, moving on to now the Heavenly Island. Um, I only have these in two different languages. I have it in the French and German. Uh, German, but yeah, this French issue one. With another really cool slipcase. The French books are really quite cool because they tend to have the slipcases to them. Most of the series do. Uh, issue two. In issue three, um, I don't know if there's an issue four of these in French. I know there is a, uh, an issue four in the book series because I've only just got like the German one a few days ago, but I haven't yet seen the French one. Um, I know that it's pretty soon they're supposed to be doing an issue five as well. So I will be keeping an eye out for the French issue four. Um, moving on to the German ones. These ones are actually really super cool art and colours and stuff like that. That's issue one. Heavenly Island German. Issue two. Um, the issue two, three and four that I have are actually all brand new and sealed, which is super cool. Um, I'm really chuffed with them. I really want to get issue one again just so it can be sealed like the others are, so I have like a sealed collection. Uh, issue two. Um, it's really quite weird these books because the spines are on the different sides how they are in England. Like instead of them being on this side, they're on this side. It's really quite weird. Um, issue three. Again, brand new and sealed. And issue four. I quite like this one because the the purse obviously isn't the hunk on it, but it kind of looks like hunk. I really do like this one. In issue four, I actually only got this one like a few days ago. And um, yes, yeah, so that's Heavenly Island in French and German. Again, with this series, if you guys know of if there is an English version or if there's a website doing in English, please let me know because I want to read these as well. Is that like most of the books I do love to read, but these ones I haven't read because of the fact I haven't seen or heard of them in English. So, yeah. Um, another a couple of game books. Resident Evil Revival Selection. This one I absolutely really like. It's a uh, Code Veronica and Resident Evil 4. But it's like the games in like a uh, story track mode, which is kind of like a like a frame by frame of the movie of the games. So it's kind of like a comic strip, but of with the images from the game, which is super cool. And uh, Resident Evil 6 art book, just like sketches and drawings and stuff from the game. Uh, this actually come from the Resident Evil 6 Collector's Edition. And uh, the reason I've got it in the collection is because I had two of them. I had two collector editions, so I kind of kept one in with the set, and then the one I took out. So that's why it's in my collection. That's like all um, my Resident Evil books that are in the movie. So I've got the movie as part of my collection, the movie books. Um, I've read all of these books, like these movie books, apart from the final chapter, and I'll explain why. Uh, Resident Evil Genesis, which is Resident Evil, the movie. Don't know why it's called Genesis, but um, Resident Evil Apocalypse. Uh, these books I bought brand new from the store as soon as they came out. All these movie books I did, but all, all f the first four I read, but I didn't read the final chapter. Uh, Extinction. Ooh, Retribution. 
I don't understand why they never did Resident Evil Afterlife book. I don't understand why they never did that movie. And Resident Evil The Final Chapter. Um, I never ever read this book just because I really wanted them to release the book like a week or two before the movie. So that I could re sit down and read, read the book before going to see the movie so I could understand a little bit more of what the movie was going to be about and stuff. But they released it, at least they released it here on the day when the movie came out. So, which I didn't, I just, I don't, I don't understand why they did that. But, um, after watching the movie, I didn't really like the movie that much. So I thought, I'm not going to really waste my time reading the book. Although, maybe the book version would probably be better, but I haven't got around to reading it yet. Maybe in the future sometime, if I've got any spare time. I mean, at the moment, things are pretty hectic. <laughs> I, can, I do t too much stuff. But um, yeah, that's stack three of the books. That's basically all the books that I have at the moment. Um, I'm going to show you the comics that I have. Um, there's quite a few comics that I have, Resident Evil comics. So um, I'll have to get them out and show you guys. So um, I'm going to show you guys my comics, plus uh, two art books that I kind of included in it. Quite a lot. Um, that's heavy. Uh, I keep all my comics in like this see-through folder just to keep them protected. So I will take them out one by one and show you guys them. Um, there are quite a lot that are missing in terms of each issue. So it's like I've only been able to pick up what I can pick up. Um, comic book magazine uh, issue one. These are quite annoying because they're not like standard comic book size. They're actually magazine sizes, so they're quite difficult to get like the uh, protective comic case, like the comic sleeves and boards. So that's why I've kind of put them in this like A4 folder. Uh, issue three of the comic book magazine. I can't, I'm missing issue two, which is for me quite annoying because I want to have the whole entire lot, and I'm missing one at the moment. Uh, oh, I can't even get it back in there. Um, issue three. Actually, no, sorry, issue four. Issue four, sorry. Issue four. I'm missing issue five. As you can see there on the back is. It's saying that there's an issue five. I'm missing that one at the moment. I can't. I don't think I've ever seen it actually. Whether or not they did do it or not, I don't, I'm not too sure. But yeah, uh, these are like the actual comic comics now, rather than big magazines. Um, Resident Evil: Fire and Ice issue one and issue two. These are all like in comic bags and boards and stuff. So. I actually have got the complete collection this far and nice because this I've had them twice now, the complete collection. So they're actually not too hard, too too difficult to get. Uh, issue three and issue four. And also I have like the complete the complete fire and ice book. Here it is. It's basically just the comics all rolled into one graphical novel. So it's a lot lot thicker and stuff. It's more of a book than it is a comic. Although it's like a graphical novel, which is just the comics all rolled into one. Uh, I don't know what this series is. It's just it's just called Resident Evil. Um, issue one. I know that this is the variant. Um, I'm not too sure, actually. I can't remember if this is the variant edition or the standard edition because I know there is two two uh, two different like arts artworks to this issue one. That's the one I have at the moment. So I am missing the other the other version, the other variant. Uh, issue two and issue three. Issue four and issue five. Um, I'm not too sure when these were released. I believe these were released like in 2009 or something like that. Oh, actually, sorry, it says on them uh, 2010. So they're not too relatively at that old. But they are Wildstorm comics. But I'm not too sure whether there was an issue 6 for this or not. I believe there, may, there was, but I hadn't got it yet. And then I've just got like the graphical novel of them all of them rolled into one. For the book. This one's a bit better because it's where it's not so big. I can actually put it in a comic bag with, with the board. Um, that's all the ones that I've got in this folder. I do have more comics here, but I don't keep them in the folder because of the fact the folders are just it's bulging as it is and it's super heavy. Um, 
but it's just check. Yeah, well, I've got a few more comics. Not too many, just a few more comics. Uh, I have Resident Evil Collection One. Um, I actually haven't read this yet. I was planning to read it, but I just didn't have the time, and I've kind of forgotten about it. So that might be something that I'll read soon. Uh, and uh, the collection that I was really, really proud to get when I got it fully complete. Um, I actually bought them one by one because they were hard to find like, as a complete collection together. Um, and it's the Resident Evil Co. Veronica. These aren't really so much comics, they're more of books because they're really thick. Again, I haven't read these. Um, I was planning on doing it, but I just never got round to it. Um, so, yeah. Now I've gone through this collection, I've got a lot to read. <laughs> but yeah, Co. Veronica, book one. This is actually in four, four books. Uh, book two. Uh, book three. And book four. And these, uh, these comics here, I don't know if they're official. I don't believe they are. I think they're like more of Japanese fan comics. Uh, but they are super cool. So I had to pick them up as soon as I saw them. Uh, Claire and Leon, Biohazard 2. But these are kind of weird because they have two stories rolled into one. So on this side, if you start, uh, this one's Cubic Horror, Cubic Horror, sorry. So if you start reading from this side, it'll get halfway to the thing and then it'll be at the end of the other story, which is kind of weird, but yeah, it's got two, two stories rolled into one of those. And a Comic Fest Resident Evil comic. This, was, this is like a free copy that you'd get, but I actually had to pay for it because <laughs> I didn't go to Comic Fest. But yeah, super cool one. It's basically a comic book of that series from my books. Uh, that's all the, the comics I have, and what I'm going to show you now is just like, like the graphical books of the games. Um, Resident Evil 6 graphical guide, basically like a little graphical book. I have one sealed and one unsealed, just because they're all cheap. Um, <laughs> the artwork of Resident Evil 5, super awesome book. If you don't already follow me on Instagram, I'll leave like a little uh, little link in the uh, bio. Uh, I actually did do like a photo of all the pages of this, so you can actually basically like read the book from the posts on my Instagram. And uh, Re Re Revelations art book. Again, this one's brand new and sealed. I was planning to open it and take like photos of the inside of the book, but I just couldn't bring myself to open it because it was brand new and sealed. So yeah. That is all of the my Resident Evil book and comic collection. Um, I know I am missing a lot. Like for Resident Evil, there's tons and tons of books, like because of the different languages, and even on some languages, there's like two or three different covers and stuff like that. So I am missing a lot. Um, if you guys have got any books that I haven't got, then please drop a comment below and let me know, um, so I can get around to getting those as well. Um, but yeah, I, I don't really tend to collect books that much. And um, this is actually my book collection without any of my strategy guides. It's like my uh, Resident Evil books, uh, strategy guide books are a di different collection of their own because I've got tons of those. So I will get eventually get around doing a video of those as well. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know what books you guys have got that I haven't got. I imagine there'll be quite a lot of you with a lot that I ha don't have just because there are so, so many. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video guys and I'll see you in the next one. See ya.